Hello and welcome back to creative world of photography and videography. My name is Jay from Jay's Creative Image. So in this episode, I'm going to show you a high end skin retouching using an extra plugin called Skin Refiner. So the Skin Refiner is a plugin. So we have to download it from the internet. So you can use it as an extra plugin in Adobe Photoshop. So today I'm going to show you how to do a high end skin retouching a bridal portrait picture using this skin refiner software in Adobe Photoshop 2020. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is one of my bridal portrait picture. I have done it in one of my photo shoot. So I'm going to use it as an example, show you how to do a high end skin retouching using skin refiner plugin. Basically, we have to do a basic correction of this picture. I'm going to do a basic skin retouching before using a plugin what i'm going to do i'm going to make another copy to make a copy control j and then i'm going to zoom in this picture and what i'm going to do i'm going to make a, a small correction so i'm going to click healing brush tool and i'm going to remove those imperfection from the skin so i'm going to take a sample alt and click and remove i'm going to click alt and remove click alt and remove so basically i'm just taking the sample from the smoother skin and just removing those imperfection from the uh, skin so i'm just removing all of them one by one so as you can see take your time and remove slowly all of the skin imperfection so rest of the thing the skin finer will do it it's very simple and very easy software so now we have to go to filter and photo toolbox click on the skin finer uh, once you click on the skin finer it will automatically smooth in your skin and also there are the, some pre, uh, presets on this uh, skin finer plugin so once you click in the medium it will it will retouch your skin uh, in, in a different uh, methods uh, so there are there are different presets like a contrast medium high low so there are still there are so many presets but uh, I'm going to use a default and I'm going to do it by manually. So I'm going to just adjust these uh, tolerance, feather, opacity or in the smoothening you can just reduce. I'm going to reduce the amount of the smoothening because I don't want a polished plastic kind of a skin. So I'm just going to remove, uh, bring it down the amount and then I'm going to just uh, make an adjustment of the skin color, skin tone. I just want to make it a little bit uh, a warmer color and also i'm going to change some of the i'm going to change the saturation to plus two and then want to increase the brightness from this skin basically that's all i'm going to do it today but you can play around take a desired results according to your uh, preference i'm going to press ok it will load it will take a little bit time so when you once it's loaded it will show you the final retouch of the skin as you can see it has retouched perfectly so after the skin refiner i'm going to do some more editing uh, and i'm going to add some more effect and color grading on this picture so what i'm basically what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this adjustment tool and click on the selective color and i'm going to select a, a neutral color on here and just i want to adjust the make it cyan minus two and i'm going to bring that uh, yellow minus one and magenta plus one and click OK and I'm going to select again the selective color and select the black color right now and now I'm going to increase the cyan plus 3 and uh, I'm going to increase the cyan plus 3 and I'm going to and magenta plus 2 and also I'm going to bring the yellow negative 2 I did so I did a, a slight color toning on this picture so it looks great what I'm going to do one more effects on this picture I would like to add a bokeh effect so i'm going to add this two overlays to this picture to give some more effect to that picture you have to select this picture and then uh, paste it in uh, in your actual portrait bridal portrait so to select this picture control a and then click on the move tool and then move it to your main picture right there and then what you have to do control t to transform and bring it to the corner and then i'm going to turn adjust and then i'm going to bring those bokeh till there completely cover the, my portrait original picture and you have to change the blending mode to screen and bring the opacity down a bit and i'm going to move that bokeh overlay 
to the desired position now i need to remove some of the bokeh from the picture so what you have to create a mask on that bokeh so it will create a mask so make sure that your foreground color is on black over here uh, if you want to change the foreground background color click on d it will automatically change to black and white so make sure it's a black is the foreground color and then click on the brush make sure opacity and flow are 100 and then now you can erase it now it looks great erase it as you desire one more overlay this i'm going to move that to the main picture click on ok so i'm going to click again on the blending mode and click on the screen and now what do you have to do you have to create another mask so what you have to do i'm going to move to move that overlay lighting bokeh to the desired position and i'm going to make one more copy on that bring it down somewhere down click on the previous bokeh and make a mask and click on the brush tool and i'm going to remove instant from some areas now i'm going to click the the copy of the uh, bokeh overlay and then i'm going to click and erase it from the bottom of the picture using the mask tool so i have removed all of those overlays click on that the other overlay and bring it down a little bit i'm going to make sure that all these uh, bokeh overlays are on a perfect position so it looks great right now so i'm gonna remove few in few more areas looks really great so as you can see we got a, a beautiful bridal portrait high-end skin retouching using skin refiner plugin and i have added some more color grading through selective colors and i have added a few overlays bokehs on it to give it more great looks i'm going to resize this picture and i'm going to make a crop and resize this picture to show it in the wider screen so what you have to do you have to click on the crop button over there and click on 16 by 9 there's a size that is for the landscape screen size uh, screen size for the cropping so if you click on the 4 by 5 size in the cropping standard instagram size portrait size so i'm going to show you before and after of editing so we have learned how to retouch a bridal portrait using skin finer plugin uh, in adobe photoshop 2020 so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like this video please thumbs up and if you have any question please ask me in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button here below so you will get notified when i release next video i will see you in the next video with some creative content until then keep clicking keep creating